Business Administration. That's the SBA. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Eric. Hey, everybody. Oh, come on. A little louder. Let's, come on. Let's, let's get the energy up. Hey, everybody. Yeah. All right, so let me go ahead and, and grab a seat here and have, um, have a nice conversation with you guys. So, um, as Eric said, I am Shai Hopkins. Um, I work for the United States Small Business Administration. I am the marketing and outreach specialist for the New Jersey District Office for the Small Business Administration. I work with the federal government. Um, but what most people don't know is I am an alum of East Orange High School. I was raised in East Orange. Um, I, I uh, attended three years at East Orange High School and I, gra and I graduated from East Orange High School. So um, I feel as though today it's very, very important that I'm here to talk to you guys. Because one of the things that I took away with me from East Orange High School is what I'm actually doing today and it, what it is also what ties me to you guys. So when I was at East Orange High School, um, it was before Cicely Tyson. Um, it was still East Orange High School and I was very artistic. So I was in four bands, three courses, uh, creative writing classes. Um, I was writing scripts. I was choreographing dances. I was doing the most, the most. But um, after I graduated high school, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do in, in, a, in lieu of me being able to actually go to college because I didn't have scholarships. So, I was trying to figure out, okay, so what am I going to do and how am I going to be able to manage today until I can pay for college? And what I did was I started a business at 17, I think 18. So, wait, can you guys hear me? Yes. You can? Yes. All right, cool. You want to go in the back and see? No, I just want to make sure that everyone's hearing me because I'm hearing a few different conversations as well. And I want to make sure that everyone can hear me properly. So 1718, I created a business. When I was in high school here, I, um, I used to play around and dabble with uh, calligraphy. And I would, during like my free time or whatever, I would like write my name or write my friends' names with calligraphy pens and like draw on it or something like that. And then more and more people used to come to me asking me to do the same for them. So after a while, I was like, I'm going to start charging y'all. And when I couldn't get a job after high school, because I didn't have experience, and I couldn't get experience because I didn't have a job, I started my own business as a calligrapher. So I did my market research to try to figure out how much I would be able to charge, how much it would cost for me to make each art piece that I was going to do. Um, and I went down to Essex County and I officially set up my business. I got my EIN, which is an employer identification number. Um, and at before 17, well, before I was 20, I was a small business owner. I was going door to door um, over by, where was this? Over there by Orange, Orange Park. Like, um, I can't even remember the name of the street because so I've been away for so long. But I used to go door to door getting orders from people so that I would be able to make some money. And I would, um, after a week or so, I would come back and give them their orders and I would do it over and over and over again. So being an entrepreneur at 17, 18 definitely made an indelible impression on my life. And I have to say, if it wasn't because of that, it would really been so possible for me. Um, after I completed, or after I uh, got started with my business, I became 
of course, more interested in going to, to college. So I went to the Air Force. And um, while I was in the Air Force, I was stationed in Tokyo, Japan at Yo Yokota Air Force Base. And while I was there, I became a professional singer. And um, as a singer, I was paid to travel all around Japan and in Korea just singing regular songs. I think at the time I was getting $200 a night. Um, I was singing at a, at a club called the Soul Train Cafe, which is crazy, downtown Tokyo. It was $200 a night, Monday through Thursdays, and then on Fridays and Saturdays, it was $220 a night. So that was in addition to what I was doing um, in the military. And then once I decided to leave the military and leave Japan, I came back home and I was in the independent scene in, in the city. And while I was there, I went back to my entrepreneurial roots and learned how to build my own website, learned how to manage my own social media, learned how to write my own bio. All of these different things that entrepreneurs um, are capable of doing. And after that, um, I wound up uh, going to the NJSBDC, otherwise known as the New Jersey Small Business Development Center, so that I could try to get some additional insight on how to work my music business and started working there, helping other people with their business, which kind of led me to the Small Business Administration. So the reason why I'm saying all this is because the things that you're learning right now are definitely able to turn your life around in a way that you may not realize right now. It's really important for you to be able to kind of see the opportunities and the windows for where your life can lead or where you can take yourself. You know, it's really, really important to kind of keep your eyes and your mind open to anything. So with the Small Business Administration, um, we are responsible for training and providing counseling or resources for counseling for small businesses. So with the SBA, we have four different resource partners that are able to help small businesses, including you guys, um, to set up your business, to get it to a point where you're looking to sell it, Unfortunately, hopefully you wouldn't have to close it, but we have some assistance for that too. But, um, but having a small business is a really, really wonderful thing because it impacts your entire community and it impacts your economy if you let it, if you make it so. So I just want to make sure that you all understand that <coughs> there are options for you, even if you don't think that there are options, even if other people aren't sharing with you those options, you just have to kind of keep it in the back of your mind. Because getting an EIN number is free. The services that are provided to you by the Small Business Administration are free. Your tax dollars are already paying for it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you guys have any questions or anything? No, no questions. So, I have a question. Okay. I have a question. <laughs> I'll start it off. And uh, do we have a microphone down there or no? This is it. All right, I'm not gonna throw it at you. Just, okay. So, at what point, if somebody wants to, if they're starting a small business? When are they calling you? At what point are they calling you to help find those resources? And are these re what are these resources costing you? Ah, okay, thank you, good question. So if you're calling because you are you have an idea for a business, actually, we get calls from people in all phases of their business, whether they have an idea, whether they started to work on their idea and actually, you know, uh, legalize their idea as far as making sure that their business is officially a New Jersey business where you're able to pay taxes on it. 
Um, but people call us because they want to work with other businesses or corporations. Or, like say, um, as an example, um, FIFA. The World Cup is coming here in 2026. Um, when they come to Red Bull Stadium, they're going to need things. The, the, um, the World Cup is, is a whole thing. So they're going to need caterers. They're going to need people delivering things. They're going to need landscapers. They're going to need maybe someone from public relations. They're going to need like a bunch of different things. So small businesses, a lot of them come to the Small Business Administration to understand what opportunities there are when it comes to working with larger corporations or organizations and, um, and how they would be able to participate. This young lady had a question. Hi, my name is Mahila. Um, I just wanted to thank you all for coming out and speaking at this Speaking for today. Is this on? I feel like it's not. <laughs> okay, well, um, my question was uh, because I'm someone who is trying to pursue, pursue her own um, small business. I play the harp and I'm just trying to get that figured out on my own website and getting gigs and whatnot. Um, I was wondering what's the best way to use um, your organization as a resource and how uh, can I get in contact with you? Okay. Thank you. And you said your name's Nikhila? Nikhila. Nikhila. Thank you, Nikhila. Okay, so the best way to reach the SBA is online. Um, that's sba.gov. S-B-A, the letter S, the letter B, the letter A, dot G-O-V. Um, there's a lot of information on that website. Um, so if you need to get in contact with us in New Jersey, just go to the website and, you know, look up New Jersey and you'll get us. There's only one office in all of New Jersey and Jersey is only so big. So it's really, really easy to get a hold of us, but I can make sure that you have a copy of my, my business card too. So if you want to ask any questions or whatever, just feel free. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, are there any other questions that anyone can ask? And if um, if you're not shy about it, you can just shout it out because there's only one mic. Well, we're also going to have a little question Q&A at the end as well once okay. everybody's done speaking. So Super. everybody give uh, a round of applause. For Thank you. So I'm bringing another gentleman to the stage, uh, Stephen Leshy. Did I say that right? I didn't butcher it, so I'm going to butcher your name. Uh, Stephen is, Stephen is uh, he'll tell you what he does.